Well, good morning, everybody. It is September 10th on a Tuesday. It is 8.37 in the morning, a balmy 61 degrees at the moment. We are just on the road. We just going through Soda Springs now. Uh, our adventure today and for the next few days, we are headed to Cook City, Montana. We are going up through Jackson and then the south entrance and through, well, excuse me, then through Teton Park and the south entrance of Yellowstone Park and then working our way to Cook City and that where we've got a place to stay for two nights and that I've always wanted to come up here. I've been to Cook City several times and I've always wanted to come up here and go from Cook City over to Red Lodge through the Beartooth Pass. So that is what is on our agenda for this week. And then, so we're looking forward to it. Hope the weather holds out and we can just get away and have a good time for a while. Tammy, what's your thoughts? <laughs> She's planning on having fun. Seeing uh, something new. Alright. She's planning on having fun seeing something new. This will be this, this will definitely be new to both of us, so anyway, uh, come along and go with us for a while. Well, we just got here to the entrance of Teton Park, and that little bit of a lineup, nothing too serious. Uh, you can see the Tetons there. It's a little hazy up here. In fact, right here, this is about the best it's looked. It's really hazy out the other way and that, but uh, right here, don't look too bad. So we'll go, we'll go here. Good morning. Good morning. Have a great day. You too, thanks. Uh, I mean, it's Amy and, and this is always my first stop when I get here is this Chapel of Transfiguration and that. And so we're just going to sit here for a minute, eat our lunch, and look at the Tetons. So, anyway, Tammy, <laughs> what have you got for us? today it's not too exciting it's a turkey wrap but i did buy these tim's potato chips this one's jalapeno that one's salt and vinegar and according to my kids they're supposed to be the best potato chips ever and some little tomatoes out of the garden all right little tomatoes out of the garden and a mountain dew for me and a water, water for you please. all right let's dig in but don't worry that was and now we're just going around to be able Jackson to Lake. A so as you can hear From is the, dam, we get an the right along the app with our range. tour guide. Mount Moran is the dominant peak in this view. It's recognizable by its fairly flat. I'll remind us of the sign. And now we're just going over the dam here. We're uh, really not stopping at a whole bunch of places going this way because we got quite a jaunt left to go. And that, we'll see what happens when we come back and maybe stop and visit some of them. We've stopped at all of them before anyway, so it's not really that necessary. Well, we just got here to the Jackson Lake Lodge. We're going to walk in here for a minute. And I'll just let you read that if you want. And we'll just head up these steps to some of the shops.
And this is just a view up here from inside the lodge. People out here enjoying it, eating their lunch. And this is just a view of this little lounge area here. Well, we just got here to the entrance of Yellowstone now. Hi, welcome to Yellowstone. Thank you. How's your day going? It's going good. How's your day going? So far, so good. Do you need a map? Please. Have a good one. All right, you too. Appreciate you. Just going along this river here, I might have waited too long to turn the camera on we'll see once we get up around these trees uh, it's done. hopefully we catch it again here oh. well it looks like we get to stop if we want so got some road one lane road coming up Well, here's a little view of the river as we're rolling through this one-lane traffic here. And in case any of you haven't been through construction this summer, I'll take you through some right now. Just going around Yellowstone Lake. There are lots of hydrothermal features around the edge of this side of Yellowstone Lake. So that should make us ask the question, if there are places where hot water pours out of the earth on the land around the lake, is there hot water pouring in from the bottom of the lake too? The answer is yes. During winter, Yellowstone Lake freezes a thick surface layer of ice, sometimes even a few feet thick. However, some parts of the lake present thawed out open holes. Of well, we just got here at this mud volcano. We're going to walk around it. And the bus driver cleaning his tour bus windows. And just the view of the parking lot here. And Dragon's Mouth Spring. Alright everyone back home, just going to say one thing to you. Well, we are just headed up Dunraven Pass right now. Well, now that my photo bomber left, uh, continue. Yeah, this herd is pretty close to the road here, so we was unable to pull off, so. We stopped here for a minute. Well, this is about the craziest place we've ever been, but I kind of thought that might be the case. So there's four of them. There's one back there with the white door, and then this one is the agates, and then there's one in the back. But this one right here in the front is the one that we're staying in, so. It's called the Wolf Crossing. And it has some charm to it, but it looks pretty rugged. Let's see what the inside's like. I know it's small. That's all right. So, queen size bed at least, because I do not fit in a regular size bed. 
And dishes. All they have is a microwave, but that's all right. Bathroom, tiny. Just has what you need. Shower and toilet. And as far as the kitchen goes, coffee pot, microwave, toaster oven, little fridge, and a sink. So it's good we don't plan on being here long, mostly just to sleep. So it'll do. They say you see wildlife sitting out here on the porch. So that could be fun. It's the dwarf speaking. <laughs> anyway, Bart might not let me get the reservations anymore, and that's okay with me. Just sitting out here on the porch, and this fox is just right here.